Human pick type C is a rare neurogenetic disease, which is caused by mutations in NPC1 or NPC2, which are two genes that are important in cholesterol trafficking. Um, and so what happens as a result of the mutations is that the cholesterol does not move normally through the lysosome and there's accumulation of cholesterol as well as other uh, glycolipids um, that are accumu accumulated secondarily and the cholesterol does not move through the cell the way it should. So it, it's not present for other processes in the cell that it might need to be involved in. Um, and so people inherit this, it's autosomal recessive. So people inherit a defective gene from both of their parents. If you only have one defective gene and your other gene is completely normal, then you, you don't get it. Carriers don't have symptoms of, of typical Neiman pick type C anyway. Um, and so once, if you have the two mutations that are in the gene, you get the disease, but the disease is highly variable. Um, and presents a little bit differently depending on what age you, you get it. So little kids will often have um, a large liver and spleen and may even have substantial liver disease very early on in the neonatal period. Um, and then if they survive, for instance, the liver disease in the, neuro, in the neonatal period, then they later on they develop neurological symptoms. And there's a range of neurological symptoms. Some patients present mainly with learning delays and, and cognitive decline and, and sometimes more subtle behavioral symptoms like ADHD type symptoms. Um, and other patients present predominantly with motor symptoms, you know, like tremor or problems with balance, um, gait difficulties, clumsiness, um, or there can be a mixture of those kinds of, of symptoms. Um, some patients have hearing loss early on, others get hearing loss later, and that's one of the features of the disease. Um, and then in adulthood, the patients who are later onset and get the disease as late as older teenagers or adults are more prone to have psychiatric complications as an early symptom. So they may have episodes that look like depression or psychosis, for instance. Um, there is one hallmark of the disease um, that's fairly characteristic in that there's this vertical gaze palsy where um, a person has difficulty doing an up gaze, a saccade up or down, so their eyes don't move quickly up or down, and you can test for that. Um, but I think it's, it, it can be difficult for people to identify it, even neurologists sometimes, and so that sign may be missed for, for quite a while until the patient has developed other kinds of neurological symptoms that lead someone to think about the disease. 